All right, everybody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Diana Perazzo. Perazzo. Diana Per. I'm see. I'm I'm the opposite of Italian, and I can never get Italian names quite right. <laughs> and I know I, the one thing I know about Italians, pronouncing the name right's important. Yes, but also like my whole life, has, it's just been fucked okay. up the whole All time. Right. So it's totally okay. All right. Are we allowed to curse? Is please, that, please don't cuss. Don't cuss. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cool. Please don't cuss. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> No, you can cuss. It's Barstool. This is cool. Like, okay, I just want to make sure. This is ESPN. Nobody's going to watch it anyway. So oh, it perfect. Cool. All right. All right. Now, real quick. Yeah. You, you're, you're an you're Impact Wrestling. Yes. Okay. That and you're not the Knockouts champion. No. You were. I was. You're not. And you're going to be soon again, probably. Obviously, duh. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, wrestling. We get the biggest stars in the wrestling universe because they all want to come here and talk to me. Isn't that right? <laughs> Absolutely. Not. Oh. <clears throat> Diana Perazzo. Yes. Did I get it right? You did. Look at me. <laughs> you, you are a very successful wrestler. You are uh, huge on the internet. You get in the ring. You're fantastic. You beat everybody. You got two belts over here. I do. You're the. You're the. Uh, hold on. Ring of Honor. Yes. World World Champion. Yes. Okay, I guess I'll hold it. I thought you would. Oh. <laughs> no. And then we have uh, AAA. The AAA Reina de Reina's Championship. Well, that's nice. That one's silver and this one's gold. Yeah. Do you like them both equally? Um, Do you have a favorite? Uh, um, if I'm being honest, I feel like the, the Ring of Honor one is my favorite because it took me a very long time to fight for that and then win it unexpectedly. So you, but you now have it. It's just in your possession. Yes. Uh, and then you, you have, did this one not take a long time? Did that take like five minutes? Um, it was a hard fought match, yeah, but sure. it wasn't some, like for Ring of Honor, they didn't really have a women's division for a long time. And back in like 2015, I was right. a part of that like rebirth of that. So it was a fight just to get the division. Yes. And once you got the division, now you have the title. Yeah. So it's a double fight. Yes. Yeah. So I, it was a really full circle. I had a double fight in school one time. I heard you had a double fight earlier today. What have you heard? Well, Joey Janela was here. Am I getting? Oh, yeah, that was something. <laughs> oh, you could smell the strip club on that guy. <laughs> it was rough. It smelled like cigarettes and depression. Oh. Um, you smell wonderful though. Thank you. I actually can't smell you. I have COVID. Um, not that big of a deal. I hope you don't have any uh, events coming up very soon. No, it's we'll just share it. It's okay. You've, you've already had, you got I COVID too? I did have COVID. Oh, good I for did. you. I did, yeah, last year. So you have natural immunity? Yeah. Probably. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and in addition to the uh, the Ring of Honor and the AAA, we've got the Impact Knock... Uh, the, uh, oh. You didn't bring that one? Awkward. You didn't bring that belt? It's not mine anymore. Hmm. What happened? Did you lose it? Uh, that damn Mickey James. That damn Mickey James. Yeah. She just stole it and took it away in a trash bag. Yeah. I, Mickey James is a pretty good wrestler, though. There's no shame in losing to no, Mickey James. No, there's not. She's a living legend. So. Don't you think you're a living legend? Well, yeah, and and um, about ten years ten years younger, but you know. Can I can I just say something? Yeah. To, just me and you. Okay. Don't worry about the cameras. Yeah. Your, your, your trainer who's here is nodding his head too vigorously, <laughs> and he's distracting me. Every time I say something nice about you... He's like, you're right. No, when I said living legend, this guy, it was, the, it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like he was giving head to a giant or something. I don't, I've never seen anything like it. I, I, so I, I'm just, I was distracted, so I'm sorry. I had to bring my number one fan. That's your number one just to go around doing this shit? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Like yes. Bill and Ted in the 80s. All right, all right. Okay, my hair's bad. All right. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting, I'm a professional. This yeah. is wrestling. It's probably the best wrestling podcast you've ever been ever. on. Ever. 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 Is it your first? Yes. No, it's not. That can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes are fun. Um, if, if the people behind the camera could shut the fuck up just so we could do this. Damien. His name's Damien? Damien. Well, okay, he does. Okay. Now I'm scared of him. Okay. Um, so what's going on with you? Not much. So uh, I assume, because you're on Impact Wrestling every week, right? Yes. You're, you're a star. Uh, you're going to get that belt back? I plan on it. When, yeah. When are you going to get it? 
Um, so right now I'm a little tied up in defending both my championships, being the champ champ. Right. Um, but, you know, when there's a number one contenders tournament, when there's an opportunity to jump Mickey James, I don't know, I can't give away too much. You think that would fit around my waist? I'd love for you to try it. I don't know if it would fit around my waist. <laughs> I want to see if it would fit around my waist. It is, it is a, it is a, um, not that big of a deal. I, it's not, I, I'd rather. <clears throat> it's obviously going to be limiting to who can win that belt because it doesn't go around all that many waists. Well, I'm sure we could get an extender. So you're telling me a 42 year old man with cholesterol problems can never win this belt? Uh, you know, I, that's not something I want to answer. I think it's up for grabs for anyone. So you're from Jersey. I am. I live in Jersey. Where? Okay. Can we expose that? Oh, uh, I live in uh, Northeast Bergen County. Okay. Right around the Paramus area. Okay. Yeah. And I live in kind of a rich area, but I'm not rich. You know how much it sucks to live in a rich area when you're poor? <laughs> like it, it sucks most to live in a poor area, yeah. but living in a rich area when you're poor. Yeah. Really Bergen County is known as like the rich. Right. Yeah. There's nothing but assholes in Bergen County. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, one of my favorite trips uh, I went out to Lake Mohawk. Okay. Yeah, took my daughter out there, and we went to the Jefferson Diner. Oh, it's my favorite place in the entire world. It's so world. good! I was there this morning for breakfast. Okay, well, that's a show-off move. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I, I've I, said this before. We have, we've had a lot of Jersey people. Hell, Joey was yeah. a Jersey person. We had Liv, who was Jersey. I've talked to all my Jersey people, yeah. okay? And I said, I have never gotten into the Jersey Diner culture. No? No, see, I'm fat, and so you'd think that's the first thing I get into. But I, I show up, and I just haven't, I get there, and every why are you leaning away from me? Are you are you good? Well, you said you had COVID. Do I smell it's just bad? Just a little bit like this. Uh, okay, all right. Do you want me to move my seat? I'm just I'm just trying to me? look at you. I contact. I, can, I, I know, but I can interview you from across the room. It's fine. We can, Sorry. We got okay, laptops. I'll, I'll, we'll do it like this. We got laptops if you want to zoom. Okay, all right. No, just relax. So I haven't really gotten to the Jersey diner. So you show up to a diner, right? Yeah. And they all bring you a menu that's 28 pages long. How do you know what to order? Okay, so the staples are like burgers. Breakfast, um, or like. There's one more staple that I had. The, oh. the only good version of disco fries I've had is mm, Jefferson Diner. Yes. That shit's so good. So good. So fucking good. And I didn't realize it's only like a Jersey thing. Because I, I went to a diner um, in the city, well, yeah, in, in Queens two weekends ago or something. And I was like, I wonder if they had disco fries. Do you not remember where you where you went? I don't. Okay. No. Um, yeah. yeah. That happens to me too. <laughs> Uh, also, I was saying earlier, like, New York City it, is so foreign to me, although I grew up, like, 45 minutes from here, um, because by the time I was old enough to, like, come in and drink and take the train and stuff, right. I was already wrestling, yeah. so I never got to, like, know the city. You've been wrestling since since you were young, huh? 18. 18? Yeah. Why Why at 18 did you decide to dive in then? Why not 16? Why not 20? Why, why? 18 was the moment I had to get into wrestling. Um, at 18, you can, like, sign contracts on your own without parental consent. Oh, I'm from Mississippi. You can, you can do it at 12 down there. I've been married since 1991. Oh, um, well, so when I was 15, a wrestling school would take students at 15 with, with your parents' signature. And uh, my parents did not want me to be a wrestler. So um, when I was 18, I went to, to Damien School. It was D2W at the time, and I mm -hmm. signed up to be a wrestler. And I came home and said, I'm doing it. I'm going to be a wrestler. I'm fascinated by this Damien character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the name. Um, and it's it if, if I'm if I remember correctly, it's the reason you think it is from the 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 Omen, right? You were named after a horror movie. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. What so, were you? What, his real name. Where did Dion Diana come from? Um. Okay, Diana was a mistake. Uh, well, no, I was No, believe in yourself. You're a fucking champion. Hey, Deanna wasn't no, a mistake. No, 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 no. You're a champion. You're a world champion. <laughs> um, my arrival no, no, on this earth Look in the was camera right now say, I was not a mistake. I was not a mistake. Uh, I'm the champ champ. Um, <laughs> Deanna's arrival in the world was a mistake. But Deanna the name was an accident. Mine was also an accident. My name uh, was, was the combination of Donna and Dina. And my dad said, Deanna. No, 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 that's not what I meant. And my mom said, that's what it is. Her name's Deanna. Can I just weigh in here? Yeah. I've, I have many kids. So I've been, I participated in the naming of, of multiple children. Both Dina and Donna are terrible names. <laughs> okay. So, so whoever, whoever, was your dad drunk at the time? Uh, no, but they knew they were going to name my bro, I have a twin brother. Okay. His name is Dominic. 
And so they were just going through D's. What could it, what could it, they wanted us to have the same first and last initial? Deborah. Deborah. No, you're There's right. not very many. There's not that many D names. Yeah. Dina and Donna. <laughs> I mean, uh, what happened to you? Was right. best, best case scenario. Case scenario. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Like, yeah. if, if somebody's thinking Dina and somebody's thinking, first of all, who's have you ever met a Dina? Um, Jersey Shore, Dina. I've never met her, but her name is Dina. It's my dream to meet Snooki. You've got to get better dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Um, and Snook I think she <laughs> Of all the people in the fucking world, your dream is to meet Snooki. Yes. And I, she was at AEW a couple weeks ago when it was here well, I, I in knew Jersey. Her. I was there, yeah. And uh, I was very, very, very jealous of the people that got to meet Snooki. It, I'm just, you could probably meet Snooki. <laughs> Like, that's probably not a big she deal. She has a store in Jersey um, somewhere. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. I could definitely go there and meet her, but I'm, I don't live here anymore, so it's hard. Snooky. <laughs> the store. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Chelsea Green. My best friend. She's Wow. I'm Snooky. She's Wow. You're Snooky. Yeah. In our friendship, I'm the Snooky. She's the in, Wow. In this world of your friendship, yeah. you could have been anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could have been anybody. You could have been Obama and Clinton. You could have been anybody. Yeah. And you chose Snooky and Jaywell. <laughs> so Chelsea Green is Jaywell. Yeah. Okay. Why are you Snooky? Uh, cause I'm from Jersey and I'm the short one. Aren't they all from Jersey? They're. Yes, but Chelsea's not from Jersey. That's right. That's uh, right. and I'm the short one of the two of us. Mm -hmm. I'm probably the drunker one of the two of us. And Snooki running on the beach is her iconic moment, and I feel like at some point in my life I might replicate that. You, you could run on the beach. That's not a problem. <laughs> well, that yeah, should... but can you run at, on the beach asking, where's the beach? Okay. Um, so I have just learned something about you. You are wildly successful. Yeah. A terrific wrestler. Thank you. Uh, and probably got a wonderful future ahead of you. But you've got some fucked up goals in your life. <laughs> You, you, I needed to find something outside of wrestling. You, I mean, chances are, in the next five years, you're going to be more famous than Snooki ever was. She's going to want to meet you. Could that could be cool. What if what? She's let's, yeah, let's manifest that. She's uh, let's manifest that. Five years. Five years. You know what? Fuck that. Three years. Three. Three years. You've risen to the top of the women's wrestling, to, uh, the wrestling business, not the women's wrestling. The wrestling business. You're at the top of the wrestling business, and Snooki, who's hanging around shows. I mean, she's hanging around AEW shows. She. She'll hang around anywhere. So, uh, she wants to meet you. I will give you my autograph, Snooky. And you could look down on her. Yeah, because I'll wear the heels and I'll be taller. Maybe. How tall are you? Five foot two. No, you're not. You're taller yeah. than that. Mm -mm. You're five I have two? very long legs, but a very short torso. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it would be polite to look at your torso. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Chelsea, you and Chelsea are friends. You know, Chelsea's a great friend of this show. Yes. Uh, she was in the Hammerstein Ballroom last night. Yeah. They were uh, they were there, and they decided just to go home and not come and do an interview. I heard though... that there was a mixing of the schedules. I don't think that was it. I think they just. Big I heard the... someone was unavailable. I heard someone big timed them. Uh, who big? You're saying I big timed them? You weren't available, is what I heard. It was a Sunday. <laughs> I have four kids. I had to be home. <laughs> I, mm, all right. So, if somebody's watching here right now, yeah. and they know that you are the Ring of Honor champion, yeah, they know that you're AAA, they know that you have want, have held the Impact Knockouts title twice, twice, multiple occasions, and they they but they don't know you. They haven't watched you yet. Yeah. What would you say to them? What is Diana like in the ring? What is your what describes you in the ring? I don't know why I'm doing that. I am the virtuosa. I know that. The greatest technical woman's wrestler in the world. Really? Yes. Now, when did you figure that out? Mm, when I was 18. Immediately. immediately. You immediately knew that you were the... <laughs> I was going to be the greatest technical woman's wrestler in the world, yeah. Now, what, what separates... This is a real question. Yeah. What separates when I'm a wrestler, I'm a great wrestler, or I'm a technical wrestler? Um, I think that technical wrestling is about counters and holds and going, you know, catch as catch can style wrestling where I'm not necessarily going to the top rope to do a moonsault. Right. Um, not that I can't, because I can, but it would only be when it would be to my benefit. 
there's a lot of mistakes that can happen when you get your feet off the ground. So technical wrestling is the thinking man's wrestling yes. game. And you're a thinking man's wrestler yes. or thinking woman's wrestler. Woman's wrestler. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I assume women can think. Um, <laughs> I've never experienced it in my life. But um, what? You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, so you're saying your wrestling is superior to, say, like a seven-foot dude that just lucked into his body and just lumbers around and, and just Absolutely. does chokes. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Good. 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 Um, so, what's the future hold for Deanna Perrazzo? Um, I am holding uh, the Champ Champ Invitational on Impact Wrestling. Really? Yes. Ongoing, week after week. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who wants to step in the ring with the Virtuosa is more than welcome to. Let's say I were a women's wrestler. Yeah. Let's say I was a woman. First of all, I feel like that's a requirement. Well. So, let's say I was a woman. It's 2021. 22. There you go. <laughs> You're from Jersey. It's probably still 2021 in Jefferson, New Jersey. Um, so, where was I going with this? Uh, I, I assume you were going to ask me who, who, if you were a woman's wrestler, what would happen when we stepped in the ring. Correct. I think I could I think wow, I could take you. Wow, I think you. I could take his job. I th that wouldn't be hard at all, I promise you. <laughs> I think I could take you. I could get in the ring. I'm a big, I'm a big <clears throat> person. Do you think yeah. your technical wrestling skills could, could disarm someone as physically imposing as myself? Um, I would literally disarm you. With the Fujiwara armbar, um, yeah, all joints work the you same. You would take my arm off. Yeah. My left or my right? Um. So my finishing move is called the Venus to Milo. My finisher is the right. Oh, you were talking about something else. Okay. <laughs> the Venus to Milo <laughs> has no arms. The, the, she's oh, a I Greek see. Statue. I see. She I has see. no arms. Okay. So you wouldn't. Well, we were have talking the right. about two totally different things. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have the right to use or the left. Okay. All right. So you could take off my right arm and your left. Why you wouldn't take on off both? That's ridiculous. I would. So you would you fold them back like that? Mm -hmm. That would be unpleasant. Um, so what else is going on? Um, I'm a college student. Are you? I am. How old are you? Twenty-seven. And you're you're good. Yeah. Good for you. Good yeah. For, what are you majoring in? History. What kind of history? World? American? Um. So I have not picked a uh, like concentration just yet. It's okay. just like. General world history. You're going to become a professor on the side? Maybe. What? Yeah. You think Britt Baker's really a dentist? She is a real dentist. She's I, done work on my teeth. I, I still don't believe it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it just seems very convenient to be a dentist and a wrestler. Yeah, I mean, she's just that great. Because if I were going into business as a dentist, mm -hmm. then I think I would like spend my weekends in the wrestling circuit because that's a lot of people that need... Fresh teeth. Well, that's why she super kicks you, and then she'll also take your money when you have to go see her. Mm. Do you super kick a lot? I don't. I feel like super kicks are a little overused. Um, to each their own. I don't have that that motion. My body doesn't do that. Long legs, short torso. Yeah. You'd be like you'd teeter over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Stick with the pump kick. Um. So who's been uh, who's if I said Diana? Yeah. Who's your greatest opponent you've ever wrestled? Who's 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 the one wrestler that just brings the best out of you? Um. Uh, okay, so I have two. Do I have to pick just one? No, you can have two. This is America. Okay, Jordan Grace. Hold on. Is oh. it still America? Right. Russia's doing some Ukraine stuff. I don't uh, know. Okay. All right. I I spent this morning researching how to build a bomb shelter. <laughs> Really? It's just, a, it's just a hole in the ground. Shouldn't um, be hard. Yeah, but you, it needs air filtration. You need ventilation. I don't think we're that far along. Well, All right. we never know. I, I, they had to do this in the 60s for the Cold War, so, I, you know. I know. I was fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Florida, it doesn't have basements. So. Florida doesn't have, the South doesn't have basements. Yeah. I never had a basement until I moved to Jersey. Really? Ba having a basement's a game changer. Where are you from originally? I'm, I'm from Mississippi. Oh. Yeah, okay. What was that noise? Oh. No, I didn't ask you to repeat the noise. Oh. I, I, okay. I didn't. We've established what the fucking noise was. <laughs> What was the intent behind the No, moment? I just was like, oh, I didn't know that. You ever wrestled there? No. Probably for the best. <laughs> they uh not very progressive down there. Mm. I don't I think the next women's wrestler to wrestle there would be the first. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so I go to school. I'm a dog mom. I have three dogs. Okay, so what kind of dogs? Okay, so Honey is a hound lab mix. Okay. Fitzgerald is a Chihuahua dachshund mix. And then our newest, Oliver, is a mini dachshund. 
So, were they from the pound or the shelter or? or um, yes. Did we, you mix them yourself? No. Okay. Uh, hound dachshund mix? No. Hound lab mix. Hound lab mix. Yeah. What kind of hound? There's, well, the I don't hound know. Is, I, we don't know. Some so, kind of hound. So it's just. She's a mutt. Just months. Yeah. Just months. And then those two dogs were so great that you got you got a mini dachshund. Yes. Now why are the, does the mini dachshund run things? Um, those are mean little dogs. He, he's not mean. He's he's very very sweet. But it's only because he's about twenty weeks. He's he's fresh. He's a baby. Twenty weeks. What is he? <laughs> Who says twenty weeks about their dog? That's how old he is. He just had his first. Say five months. <laughs> Say five months. He's five months old. <laughs> it's like when you have a three year old and you're like he's thirty six months. Nobody says that. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> I no, I don't say yeah, that. Yeah, but you, but you stop. You stop do. at eighteen months. I agree. Eighteen some months parents after don't eighteen do months. That. It, it, if 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 it's eighteen months, if it's after that, it's two. I agree. The baby's two. Yeah, I agree. I have a dog. His name's Sam. Sam. Yeah. Why Why'd you pick Sam? Five kids are not very bright. Can oh, they do, picked Sam. Yeah, can only do one syllable names. <laughs> okay. And they're from Mississippi too. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> I think I might hate you. Uh, don't don't make them eyes at me, Damien. I'll fuck you up. All right. So where are we at? Um. Wrestling. Wrestling. What's the ceiling for Diana? What's what's what can you reach in your career? Because you're very young. Twenty seven is very young as yeah. a as a professional wrestler or as, as in anything. Yeah. So what what can you? Where's the sky? Where's the limit here? I don't know. Because it was to main event to pay-per-view. And you've done that? And I just did that. Hard to kill? Hard to kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mickey James and I were the first ever knockouts pay-per-view main event. Yeah. Um, and that was kind of what my glass ceiling was. So I don't know. I don't know what's next. So you uh, <clears throat> lost? Yeah. Thanks for bringing it up. No, I just, you brought it up. I didn't bring that well, up. Well, I didn't bring up. that up, but we could have just skipped over the finer details. But you'll, you'll get that belt back soon. You're already a two-time champion. Yeah. Um, you see yourself working all over the place, working all over the world? Yeah. Um, when the, I mean, the world's kind of getting back to normal, but yeah. um, Japan is not open quite yet. I'd love to go back. I've never been to Japan. What? I've never, I've never been to Japan. What? Uh, okay, you are from Jersey. Wow. That was, you sounded like, uh, well, no. Snooky. It sounded a little Lois Griffinish. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I've never heard that one before. That's Family Guy. Yeah, I know who that is. Seems today that all you, you see is violence, violence and movies and, movies and sex, sex on TV. But where's good old fashioned values? On which one used to rely? rely. Da 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 da, Family Guy. <laughs> Do you like that show? Um, I thought only dudes like that show. I don't n not like it. It wouldn't be my first you pick. You literally just sang the song. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? Whether you like it or not, you know the song, I feel. I don't know. I don't know songs to TV shows I don't watch. I watch it. I don't know Grey's Anatomy songs. When, like, my boyfriend puts it on. But I'm not going to be like, hmm, I'm going to watch Family Guy today. That makes sense. Same with, like, South Park. I've never put South Park on. But he puts it on, I so I, I listen to it. I don't love South Park. I don't like South Park. I like Family Guy. I, I like Family Guy. I yeah. like The Simpsons. I don't love South Park. I, I don't know anything. What's your favorite Simpsons? TV show? Um, I'm a big like guys grocery games kind of person. <laughs> my uh, but are my you, are you are you 75 years old? <laughs> I'm also a humongous, huge, huge, huge. Another goal: be on Supermarket Sweep. I'm the biggest Supermarket Sweep fan probably in existence. And I've watched every YouTube video Probably Supermarket Sweep episode. You're the... I think you probably are the biggest <laughs> Supermarket Sweep fan in existence because you actually, you're the first person I've ever heard say, I love it. I'm a Supermarket I Sweep am. fan. I am. The old ones or the new Both. ones? Both. Love them all. You've watched the old ones? Yes. Yeah, every single one on sucked. YouTube. That's, no, it didn't. If you, were sick, it's, if you were sick and you stayed home from school, and you turn on the TV, the second you see Supermarket Sweep, no. that's when you go outside, or that's when you go take a nap. I watch it every day. I've run out of episodes. I hope so. It's sad. I'm sad about it. And so it's strategy. That's what I like about it. It's like you have to win the time to race in the big sweep. And then what is your strategy if you're in the big sweep? I don't know what you're talking about. What so is the big sweep? The, the big sweep is the final sweep. That's where you win or you lose. Okay. You have to make All the right. most money. Time. You have okay. to get the most groceries. 
to win. That's easy. Just put all the most expensive stuff in your cart. Yeah, but is there a strategy to it? Like, do you go to the meats first, and then you go to the deli? And then you can go the opposite side, and sometimes there's diapers there, and you do, like, the outside, and then you have to get the detergent, the housewares. There's strategy to it. The hoses were always expensive. Oh, I go straight for the hose. Every time I go shopping, Did I go straight for the hose. Did you get that from Joey? Who? Did you pick that trade up from Joey? <laughs> he, he smelled like some. <laughs> um, <laughs> boy, boy. Um, what, how are we doing on time? Are you trying to kick me out? No, they're useless. They're, <laughs> he's supposed to hold up time time markers oh, to where like, I know. No, yeah. no, we can stay here forever. Okay. Just talk and chill, talk about Snooky. Oh! 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 Oh, Sorry. Mississippi. Okay, it's not a bad place. It gets I, a I've bad never reputation. been there. I've never been. You ever wrestled in the South? Um, not often, actually. So, <laughs> being from Jersey, mm -hmm. I went to Louisville, Kentucky, thinking like, this is the South, it's hot. And no. then there was snow. Half of Kentucky's in the South, but not the Louisville half. Yeah. Louisville, Louisville's like a northern city kind of. Yeah, I, I love Louisville's a good city, life. though. I like I love Louisville. it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got good... Uh, man, you went to Louisville. To get, sure did. Yeah, we went to OVW. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Yeah, same. You need to get more noises. Oh! Oh! Everything is a <laughs> version of oh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, well, um... So, Jersey Shore, yeah. is that your favorite reality show? Uh... Yeah, I guess. Do you ever see The Real Housewives of Jersey? I have. Um, I'm not a t like a big fan, but I've seen. I haven't seen it either. I don't know why I asked about it. <laughs> I, uh, I watched, um, I, and, and ugh, we're just talking about all my dreams one day. I always wanted to be on the challenge. That, like, that was like reality show. <laughs> uh, I, I just want to talk about real life with you. Yeah. <laughs> you are a very accomplished wrestler. I want to be I'm on being, the I'm being show. real talk. Yeah, yeah. You're a very accomplished wrestler. Yeah. Look at this. How, one belt, two belts. There's a third belt out there that you'll probably have again very soon. Yeah. Great technical wrestler. And your dreams are all beneath you. <laughs> you could be on the challenge tomorrow. <laughs> the challenge? Yeah. That was like road rules, the real world was the thing when I was growing up. And it was actually like a rebellious thing. You're 27 my, years old. Yeah. It was a rebellious thing because my dad is very... Didn't like the MTV? No. And he was like, when I told him I wanted to be a wrestler, he said, you want to be like those whores on TV? That's what he said. So couple that with then watching MTV. So did you? Uh, no, I was like, I'm going to change it. I'm not going to dress like that. I'm, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it better. I have a 13-year-old daughter. Yeah. A big girl. Tall. She's about 5'9 now. She's 13. She's going to want to be a wrestler, and I'm going to let her. You think? And we're going to take over the world. Okay. And then in about six years, we're coming for that, and we're coming for this. Well, I'm going to have them. And she's going to whip one. your ass. I don't think I'll be wrestling at that point, so. She's 13. Yeah, but six years? You don't think you'll be wrestling in six years? No. What are we doing the interview for? <laughs> what, what the fuck are we doing? If you're going to be gone in six years, you're going to be retired at 33? What are you, Maybe. Jesus? Wait, what? What? <laughs> I love retired and 33? And I, I want to be a mom. That's a really good goal. That is a good goal. That's a High great five goal, on right? That. You're a good one high day. fiver, too. That'd be nice. See, that's yeah. a good goal to have. And what's cool is you, I could always come back if I wanted, but maybe I won't want to. So I need to be like. Who are the mom? Becky's a mom. Becky Lynch is a mom. I know. She came back. I know she did. Who's the girl that left? Um, you know, the UFC. Ron Rhonda? Rousey left to have a kid, and she yeah. still ain't had a kid. She had the kid. Did she have a kid? Yes. Oh. I, um, don't ask me to pronounce its name. I thought she just let herself go. <laughs> um, don't tell her. I, actually, I don't care. What was oh, she, what was she, she will disarm What's your me? tattoo? Um, it is uh, a light bulb. This the world? It is. So it's actually for a Bible verse. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, 514. Matthew 514. Yeah. Matthew 514, yeah. Says you are the light, light of, of the, the world. world. Yeah. A city built upon a hilltop uh, cannot uh, be hidden. Hidden. Yep, yep. That's Matthew. Yeah. All right. Damien's confused. You're not talking devil shit. Look at him. He's all hit his confused I had to face. get the tattoo to like, I've known like him a, for 10 years. Cancel like out. A, he looks like a bulldog. He looks like a dog when you hide the tennis ball. I was like, whoop. And then he, that's what he looked like. He's a fucking idiot. Um, Why'd you bring him? Security. I had to walk down the street. He's the smallest person he, in this room. <laughs> 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 this guy's 5'2". He towers over Damien. <laughs> all right. 
Um, I have a, I have a tattoo that kind of cancels out the Bible, though. I have a drunk duck on my ankle. I need to see a drunk duck. <laughs> I'll hold the belt. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, that is uh, that. It, okay, it's kind of so ashy. Why I need is, some lotion, but yeah, you need some lotion. <laughs> uh, uh, wh 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 why a drunk duck? Uh, <laughs> I don't think drinking cancels out the Bible. Um, Tony Storm and I have matching ones. She has a drunk duck too. She does. We were uh, we did the Download Festival in the UK sure. with NXT, uh, maybe 2019, okay. and in the in the booth where we would all eat and like the VIP people would hang out, they had free tattoos. And we were like, oh, we should just get a tattoo. So originally I wanted to get this one, but they were like, we can't do custom tattoos. So if you want one, pick one off the board. <laughs> and it was uh, between a drunk Mickey Mouse and the drunk duck. Deanna, <laughs> I don't want to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> I, I truly don't. But if you go somewhere and they ever say the words, we have free tattoos, <laughs> Get the fuck out of there <laughs> as quick as you can. Because there's no such thing as a free tattoo that's worth having on your body. Um, so it's just not a bad tattoo. No, but it's if, a good if, story. If their choices are drunk Mickey Mouse and drunk duck. <laughs> there was other ones, but those were Tony and I's choices. Drunk llama? What, what, what other drunk animals know. do they have? <laughs> I text the picture of it to my dad, who was who has tattoos, but is very against me or my brother having them. Wait, your dad didn't want you to watch MTV and he's just walking around all tatted up? Yeah. Sounds like a fascinating man. <laughs> uh, so I texted him a picture of the drunk duck and I said, not the best life choice after it was done. And he was like, no bad choice, it's just life. His parents get cooler when you get older. Oh, he's so cool now. Yeah. yeah. They get cooler when you get old. Oh, did you just give me a thumbs up? He gave us the like, go home. No, he, he did this. Oh. Apparently he agreed with my point. I oh. Don't, I don't need your fucking, I don't need you to agree <laughs> with me. He said you're a cool dad. That's what he said. I have four kids. Four. Mm-hmm. Are How old are they? 13, 11, 9, and 6. Six. Oh, my gosh. I gave you four ages. Why don't you just freak out at because one? Because that's, that's young. Six years older. Six, six is a good Boy, a good age. girl. Huh? Three boys and a girl. The girl's oh, the wow. oldest. Oh. Yeah. Um, she's been to... Two wrestling shows. Okay. Now. She, I, she just got into wrestling over the pandemic, but she loves it. She's fallen in love with oh, it. Oh, I love that. She loves, uh, who does she love? She loves Britt now because she saw Britt, but now i got to let her watch now her she's matches. she's going to love me. She's going to love you. So okay, I'll, she's I'll going to love me more than she loves Britt. You think? I think. I'll test that out. Next time you... <laughs> no, that's... It's ne not... Next time... It is a competition. And you um, know it's a competition. It's a competition. You want to be liked more than other people. Of course. But I will say that... People don't like Impact Wrestling. People shit on people from Impact Wrestling. Regardless of the good product that we put out, there's just a stigma. So I understand why people might like Britt more than me, but if they actually watched what we do on Impact Wrestling, they might like us more. So this is a great subject. I like this. Yeah. Impact does have a stigma that it yeah. probably doesn't deserve. And I, th I think the Impact product over the years has gone through ebbs and flows. Absolutely. I think we're in a pretty good ebb right now. Is ebb up or down? I think we're in a pretty good, pretty good high right. I think Impact's pretty good right now. Is what yes, I'm trying to tell in, you. Yes, we're in the uh, the peak, not the valley. We're in the peak, not the valley. Yeah. Are you one of the reasons for the peak? I think so. So I, if let's say, I didn't even say a joke there. You don't just <laughs> reflect. Oh, uh, I was going to say I'm the face of Impact Wrestling, but then you rudely interrupted me. All right, let's start over there. Who's the face of Impact Wrestling? Me. That's your hand. All right, you are the face of Impact Wrestling. So let's say old John Q. Public is sitting out there, yeah, and he watches uh, Raw and SmackDown, or he watches Dynamite, yes, and he doesn't watch Impact Wrestling. Is your hair okay? Yes. He doesn't watch Impact Wrestling. Why should he tune in and see the the peak? I think we're telling the best stories. Okay. And I think that we utilize our roster the best. Mm -hmm. um, it's a smaller roster comparatively to the other companies, but I think that every single person has a role yeah. and, and has a story that they are 100% invested in. Um, and that is what sets us apart. I think Impact, through its history, has probably been ahead of other major companies in women's wrestling. Yeah. Do you guys feel that legacy today? Absolutely. And do you feel like that's important to you to be a face of that? I, I'm i surprised I haven't cried today, but I, the only thing I've cared the do most- Do you want me to make you cry? 
I, it's not very hard, to be honest. Okay, right. um, The only thing I, my first love, everything that I've like put my heart and soul to is wrestling. Yeah. Um, and women's wrestling. And the fact that Mickey and I got to main event the pay-per-view. Sure. Which was like, like a lifelong goal of mine. On top of that, the women also got to do the first women's ultimate knockouts, ultimate X match. Right. Um, we're still creating that legacy for the knockouts today. And the women's roster there is, is very strong right now. Yeah. Not, not only you, you got... Mickey James, you got Chelsea, you got um, Tasha. Tasha, right? Thank yeah. you very much. I got that name. Another one of Damien's students. Oh, good lord, this Damien guy. <laughs> so, um, so let's yeah. let's talk real quick yeah. about Damien. Okay. So he trained trained you. Yes. And he trained Tasha. Yes. What could he do with? Okay, the seven footers moving. Okay, he's got a P. Good, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Let's say there was a 42-year-old man that wanted to get in shape and learn how to wrestle. Yeah, that's who I'd send you to. That guy right over yes. there? Yes. You, you, could, you, you could handle me? You in Jersey? What? You have a voice. Warren. Warren. I'd, I'd rather him not talk. Now, now that I heard his voice. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Wharton, New <laughs> Jersey. What was that? Uh, Wharton. Where's Wharton at? Um, so... Why I asked you when he's sitting right over there? <laughs> uh, to where I am in Jefferson. Sure. It's like one town over. So way out there. Yeah. I almost bought a house out there really? on Lake Mohawk, up in Sparta. Okay, Sparta, yeah. But it was going to be hell to get to New York every day. Yes. But it's beautiful out there. Yeah. People don't realize how beautiful it is out there. Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful, Damien? Yes. Nobody gives a fuck about what you think. Um. All right. So, last word, Diana Perazzo. Yes. I'm holding. You're the champ, champ. Champ, champ. Which 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 belt is first, champ champ or champ champ? Okay, so it has to be champ champ because yeah. I won this one first. So champ champ. Yeah. And then when you get your belt back, you'll be champ champ champ. Yes. Three, and, three C. And, yes, and then Chelsea and I are gonna win the Knockouts Tag Team Championships. So you'll be a quad champ. Yes. But would that be five champs or that she holds one of them? She holds one of them. So I'll be the champ 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 champ. Yeah, that's a four C. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's just, yeah. And anytime you, I'm going to drop the belts. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so Chelsea, Chelsea's a friend of the show, like I said. Yes. That Cardona's kind of a dick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is he not? That was aggressive. I don't like think so. I don't, I don't think so. But I think that's because you were too busy for him. Is, so this, these pictures of Joey and Chelsea, like they, they're dating? No. They're photoshopped. I don't think that's, I think photoshop's a myth. No, I've literally photoshopped before. Have you? Yes. Hmm. What have you photoshopped? I bet you photoshopped yourself. And what have you photoshopped yourself into? <laughs> if you tell me you photoshopped yourself into an episode of Jersey, you can get the I fuck out right not, now. No. If you if you photoshopped yourself on a Snooki's body, you can get I, the I fuck have out. A better, I have a better story for you. I um, never got a picture with Triple H when I was in NXT of our class picture. Okay. Uh, and I was uh, very upset about it. And then uh, I'm the only class probably in the history of the Performance Center to not get a class picture with Triple H. So you Photoshop yourself. I photoshopped my head on every single person in the picture besides Triple H. And then on his birthday, I tweeted it to him and said, Happy birthday, boss. Thanks for the warm welcome to NXT. Did he react? No, but that's, Did he probably, leave you why, red? that's probably why I was fired. <laughs> Well. And then so at the next class after me, which was Chelsea's class, is taking their picture with Triple H, and I go up to, to Kristen Altman, who works in, in Stanford, sure, yeah. and um, I said, hey, my class didn't get to take her picture with him. What's up with that? And she's like, yeah, we really dropped the ball. Uh, it kind of is what it is. You're going to have to win a championship if you want a picture with him now. And I said, well, I'm fucked. So. That's the best Photoshop I've ever done. <laughs> so. <laughs> What I like, what I like to think about here is the future. Yeah. If one day, and I don't know, Impact, <clears throat> AW, they're all out there. If one, one day you win a belt in WWE, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a picture with Triple H. No. Okay. Because now everyone's done it, and I like that I haven't. So, oh, you're the one, the one that hasn't. Yeah. Okay, so you're like the the bad girl. Yeah. So I think that if he was like, let's shake hands and put a thumbs up like he does, I would have to be like. You realize I have a picture with Triple H. Really? Yeah. Multiples. So, see, this is why I'm like the rebel. Like, I don't need a picture with Triple H. I'm not even lying, don't I? Throw it up. Uh, just a green screen. I'll what? give you my photoshopped picture, too. Please. <laughs> what, what do you want on the green screen behind us? Um, we usually do a wrestling ring or spotlights. 
Oh. Joey Janela wanted a safari. A safari? It was very drunk. Um, uh, I wanted like a beach. Like, let's be on vacation, hanging out. Okay. Photoshop a uh No, I understand we can do it. You don't have to. I, I, I know how Photoshop works. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these people. <laughs> All right. So, Deanna. Yes. Good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. It's not the first time I've heard that. Probably could have found better <laughs> words than that. Uh, but you are uh, one of the great rising stars in wrestling. I'm holding proof of that right here. And I'm sure uh, this year and beyond you will be go to even higher heights. I hope so. So how are you going to do that? Uh, we keep hustling, chucking along. You want to re-answer that? Because that was awful. <laughs> I told you already. I don't know. I just but that. I, I keep uh, trucking. You know, Rosie the Riveter here. I, yeah, we could do it. History, that's, you know what that is? I do. Okay, cool. This is Deanna Perrazzo. She is the Ring of Honor world champion. She is the AAA champion. And she will probably soon be the Impact Knockouts champion again, yes? Yes. You don't have to look at me like that. Um, yes. And she's possibly going to take both my arms off if I don't end this interview very soon, correct? Correct. The interview is over. That is wrestling.